Yay, a test. Look, you can't hear me over here, but you can hear me up here. How spooky is that? That's, that's just incredible. Look at that. Amazing. Just fantastic. I love it. Now that I'm done with stupid tests, it's time for me to record. You might see some of those stupid tests. Anyway, there's a microphone here, and last time I was using a headset, so it's going to be different. I thought I was going to use a camera, but it turned out to be too laggy. Anyway, I'm playing The Sims 4, and you can see that now. Uh, this should be interesting. I'm probably going to cut out a lot of boring parts, but let's, let's, let's dive right into the game. Yay. Loading. Look at that, it's loading. Oh, here we go. Alright, what what should we make the name of this creature? Huh. Random. Uh, how about... Ricardo. Ricardo Pierce. That's, that's a pretty badass name, if I do say so myself. He's gonna be a young adult, and... Shit, Flitta, I'm soon. He's gonna have a... Oh damn, that's that's pretty badass. He has a deep voice. Um, he's gonna have a pretty tough walk. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Look at that. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. This this is gonna be making the sim, and this is the main character pretty much, unless I decide to add more characters, which wouldn't be the smartest. Um, and I have played The Sims 4 before, so I know what everything pretty much is so uh... let's see, let's see what he should be um... let's make him deviant uh... The, um, a public enemy that, that sounds like a good thing to aspire to be anyone, anyone in the world should aspire to be a public enemy alright, let's see, select traits uh... Let's see. Alright. So, he can be an evil genius. And that that sounds pretty fun. There. Look, now he's a genius. Oh, we should also make him active so he can get muscles beat up everyone. <laughs> That's a very muscular thing to do, sir. <laughs> sir Ricardo. Alright. Uh, none of this. Um, none of this. Let's make him mean. Mean and cruel. No, no, no. Let's make him evil. Not, not mean, but evil. Oh yes, Ricardo, you will, you will rule the world. You and that, that, that little mole thing there. All of that. All right. No, no. I'm, I'm going to change you up a bit. There we go. That's a Ricardo we all know and love. That evil bastard. Now, now this guy, he's gonna screw up everything you know and love. He's gonna, like, take money from orphanages, and then, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna do a lot of evil things. Look at that evil face. Perfect. Delicious. Alright. Actually, I didn't edit the face yet, did I? Be right back again. <laughs> there. There we go. That's that's the evil villain face we all know and love. All right, now now let's go and pick him a nice house. Sure, his name is Pierce. Look at that, amazing, perfect. All right, and and this bastard, this bastard's gonna ruin everybody's day. You you just watch. He's gonna come out of the sky in a great chariot made of flames, and he's gonna he's gonna um take money from orphanages again. He does that a lot. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Where, where is he gonna live? Okay. Um, no, enough of, enough of these hint things. I don't need them. All right. Um, I'll, I'll cut back to you when I find the most evil house of them all. There, where all evil dwells. A nice little house near a stream. Now you would have never suspected this. What's What's Rick doing? Oh, he's got a book there. 
Rick, is this really your priority right now? You've you've got to be plotting. You've you've got to plan to destroy everything that everyone knows and loves. Let's go make some friends, as I like to say it. Let's see here. All right, this this looks like a guy who's pretty happy about himself, pretty confident man. Let's go screw up his day. All right. <laughs> yes, look look at this pleased face. He doesn't even know what's coming for him. You ready, Dennis? I'm. I know I'm ready. All right, Rick. Go go show him who's boss. What are you laughing about? You're about to meet Rick. Now, he'll be here in a second. What's he doing in there? What are you doing, Rick? Could you not be sitting down? Go be mean to someone, man. That's like your your life's ambition. Now, look, you're gonna lose a a, a customer or something. Let's let's see about this guy. All right, we can't. Look at all these pleased people. They're about to be tormented by the the evil Rick. All right, Rick, are you going to come over here? All right, there he is. Rick, are you ready to ruin this man's life? That is truly how you ruin someone's life. You, you twirl around and do stuff like that. Anyway, let's be some mean. Let's imply his mother is a llama. Sir, your mother is a llama. You seem to be pleased about that. Why are you pleased about that? Rick, you're not doing a good enough job of ruining his life. Do it better. Yell at him. Oh no, there's something even better. Let's see here. Let's let's throw a drink straight at his face. The, the drink that magically appears in your hand. Oh damn, Rick's setting down the law. Look at that. Oh, you're going to ruin this man's life. Where, where'd you get that slushy? You're so pleased, Rick. <laughs> He's so pissed, Rick. You you truly did the best thing that you could have done. Now you gotta fight him. <laughs> fight this kindly old man. He doesn't deserve his life. Well, it looks like Rick is actually losing. He better not lose. Is this woman just gonna walk through them? Yep, there she goes. What a badass woman. Now she's like, whoa, look what I just walked through. That was that was pretty intense. Of course Rick won, because look at all those muscles. They are they now despise each other. That's that's very pleasing. I'm I'm happy that happened. Alright, what's this woman doing still? Oh, now she's eyeing this dude. Let's go over in their day as well. Is that your plan? It is your plan. Don't be nice to them. Stop being nice to them. Be rude, be cruel. Be horrible, just like Rick does. Let's be mean, let's mock their outfit. <laughs> They're all very displeased now. I was, I was hoping as well. Rick, how are you on needs? Oh, you're perfect. You're, you're deliciously perfect on all your needs. That, that delicious shade of green. All right, go, go piss on some more people. Like this, this perverted old man. Go piss on him. <laughs> All right. Be be nice and rude to him. There we go. That's perfect, Rick. You you sure are a people pleaser, Rick. <laughs> Your eyes are so creepy. You're just eyeing people. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna real piss off that guy. Ha <laughs> ha. What an evil bastard. Wait, come back here. All right, fine. Rick, you're gonna go home and plot something. I don't know how you're gonna do it. No. No, let's let's choose a career for Rick. Let's see here. I'm I'm suspecting that he would make a good um a good criminal. Or criminal. I don't know. My friends are always telling me I say that wrong. Which is a damn shame because I think I say right, you know, criminal. Criminal sounds right to me. Sounds right to everyone. Alright, alright. Okay. So the most evil job on all of these is definitely the astronaut he's gonna be this secret astronaut man and he's gonna put like giant uh, moon Nazi uh, flashlights and they're gonna really piss off everyone at night cuz then they can't sleep <laughs> yes Rick you are the most evil of them all where where are you where are you Rick you're just standing there why go do something alright he's going to do something what's he doing 
who's gonna chat with Clyde, whoever Clyde is. Come on, Rick. Who who is this Clyde you speak of? I don't know any Clyde. What what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be chatting with Clyde? Are you just gonna stand there? Is Clyde a ghost? Come on, come on, Rick. Stop being insane. Insanity is not one of your traits. Don't make it one. Wait, is that Clyde? Is Clyde a little child? Why are you why are you being mean to little children? <laughs> he just disappeared. That's not fair. That's not legal. Are you talking to yourself, Rick? What what's this? He just appeared. What is this? It's it's a town of ghosts. This is awful. This is horrible. Rick, you got to go home. Go home, Rick. Rick, go home. Come on. What are you doing? You're stretching? Why are you stretching? I guess you gotta run home. That's pretty much all. Ricardo has no skills. He's a very skillless person, let me tell you. He doesn't even know how to walk. He always stumbles around, falls over. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna design Rick a perfect household to fit his Ricardo Ricardo E needs. I will be back. And let's let's put a pig there. Perfect. That's gonna spook everybody. I have one dollar left. Well, there you go, Rick. I just spent five hundred or one hundred and fifty bucks on a pig. How do you feel about that? Your house is now complete. It is evil. I put like a computer over here, crappy one, and I put a pig over here. Wait, go view the pig, Rick. This is what you need to do in life. This will this will enchant you with amazingness. That pig, that pig man, that pig's kind of spooky. I don't know how, and Rick's just staring at it. This, is that a dinosaur in the background? Dinosaur, what are you doing over there? I need to go check this out. What's, dinosaur, I'm coming for you. I can't even go over there, I can't see the dinosaur. That makes me mad. I want to see the dinosaur. Why can't I? That's that's not fair. I don't like that. Anyway, Rick, go plot something on the computer. Um, let's see. I don't I don't know what you should do. You could uh, uh, order. No, none of that. Um, I don't know. Career. No. Rick, turns out you can't do anything. Rick, go to the mirror and I don't know. Uh, practice speech. There you go. That'll make you nice and evil. Because that's what evil people do. They practice their speeches in the mirror. So you can be nice and mean. Alright, Rick. You almost done. <sighs> Come on, Rick. I don't have all day. How about you go to sleep, Rick? How are your needs? Your needs are still awesome. How is this? You are, you're amazing, Rick. I, I don't even know how you do it. It's just pretty incredible. I, I really don't know how you do it. It's it's very impressive. Alright, Rick. Are you ready? So. So, come on, Rick. Uh, psych up. Genius lesson. Ricardo is a genius. Genius sims are more focused for mental pursuits, which they require to remain happy. Well, Alright, so you gotta, like, do things that are challenging. Well, alright, write something. No, practice programming. There, now Ricardo has the charisma skill, so he can do stuff that's charisma and stuff. Anyway. Anyway, Rick, are you are you ready to go on the computer and write stuff for programming? Because you should be. Oh no, now you're starting to go down with your bladder and stuff. Well, you better go take care of that. Pee like a champion. Perfect. That's the only option, so I can't really do anything else. What's peeing like a champion, anyway? What is that? Is it like when you stand, like, 50 feet away from the uh, the toilet? Huh, that's 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 an interesting image. Forgot I said that. Um, Rick, you almost done. Well, you're done when I say you're done, so be done. All right, and then you gotta go have a quick meal of cereal. Perfect. There you go, Rick. 
You will be the most pleased man in all the galaxy. I'm sure of it. Rick, are you eating that cereal like a champion? What kind of cereal is that? Are you having Fruit Loops? How unhealthy. You just took like half the bowl in one scoop. That was very impressive. I'm impressed at your feat of magic. When do you have to go to work anyway? Have to go to work ever? Huh. Alright, Rick. Ah, <coughs> excuse me. I didn't mean to sneeze. It's just, it comes natural to me. It's a, uh, it's kind of a curse and a blessing at once. You know, I can, I can sneeze air up to like 50 miles per hour out of my face. But the, the shame is it makes a noise and I don't like that very much. What are you doing, Rick? You can't troll the forms. No trolling. You have to go to sleep. That's, that's only, that's only option left. Don't be depressed. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep, you, you Ricky bastard. You, you devil. Wait, are all these lights auto lights? I gotta make them turn off by themselves. All lights. There we go. Now they're all off. Rick, what are you wearing to sleep? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Rick. What are you doing? That's not what normal people wear. Well, I guess you are insane. You're a, you're a master genius bastard, but still, Rick. What is this? What is this, Rick? Do you think this is a zoo? An animal farm, if you will? Fine, Rick. Do you have tattoos? Is that is your arm falling off? No, that has that is a tattoo. Well, Rick, I gotta say that is a pretty badass outfit. You know, I'd want to take over the world with that. All right, you gotta go eat something. Uh, have a quick meal of yogurt. There you go. Do it faster though, cause it's kind of boring. Come on, Rick. You can do better than that. All right, what's your plan for the future, Rick? When do you have to go to work? Have to go to work in two hours. You're an intern. You're you're an astronaut intern. You still get to go to space, but you don't do as much. That actually sounds like a pretty badass deal. And it's like free and stuff. Uh, video gaming? No, don't don't video game, Rick. That's for nerds. Wait a minute. Crap. <laughs> what does that say about me? Uh, let's see. Uh, successfully enthused about space with three sims. Oh, is that what I have to do to be, like, good in life and do good things? Well, Rick, you gotta go to work. Work in 24 hours? What is this? Rick, did you just skip work? That's not what good people do. What's this? Go to work. Go to work, Rick. Come on. Ah, now I have to wait for Rick to come back. And the time's traveling minutes by seconds. But it's still gonna take forever, because, you know... It's minutes by seconds, and he's there for like eight hours or something until 5 p.m. Well, I got a while to wait. I guess I I wait. What is this? And uh, analysis asks Ricardo to calculate some trajectories for satellite orbits, which is a total snooze fest. And Ricardo's already busy. He can either try to find a formula to make the uh, find the formula. You evil bastard. Performance gain small. I got 50 bucks for that and I don't know why. Did someone just, did someone say, hey, that's a pretty neat formula. Here's 50 bucks. I wish that happened in real life. That'd be nice. All right. I'm going to spare you guys this waiting time because there's like six hours or seven hours left. So I'll be back at five o'clock. Yay. Only one and a half hours left. Just sitting here doing nothing. Come on, Rick. Come home. Come home, Rick. We need you. Rick, please. Please, Rick. Come on, Rick. One more hour. You can blaze through that work and come home. Yay, half an hour. Come on, Rick. You can do it. You can do it, Rick. Rick is going to be home in like 10 minutes. Five minutes. One minute. Rick is basically home, but he's 10 minutes late. Damn it, Rick. Why are you 10 minutes? 15, 16... Why are you 20 minutes late, Rick? Come on, you were supposed to be here. 25 minutes late. Gosh, Rick. I can't even believe that. That is just horrible. Admire this pig. Wait, what do you need to do? You need to have fun, you need to eat, and you need to take a shower. Taking a shower isn't required at all. Well, to me. Alright. Well, I guess first on the, uh, the, the hygiene list is taking a shower. 
go take a shower at Rick, and then go and eat some cereal. Have a quick meal of cereal. Yes, Rick. And then go and, I don't know, do something. Practice programming. That's what you should do, Rick. Alright, Rick. You almost done? Damn it, taking a shower still. Fine, I'll just speed up time to go through this. Why are you tense? Why are you, why are you tense, Rick? You're taking a shower. Why are you tense? Stuff doesn't work like that, Rick. You're desperate for fun. Well, you have to eat first. Eating before fun, that's always a rule. Alright, you're gonna start eating now. What, does your, does your neck hurt? What are you doing? Spazzing out. What's over there? Is that, is that a hamburger? What is that? Ah, oh, whatever, I don't care. I don't even care. Alright. You don't even have to clean up. We'll get a maid. Alright, Rick. Finish up eating and then go and practice programming. Because if you don't, you'll die. You'll completely die, Rick. You wouldn't want that, would you? Is this not fun for you, Rick? I thought, I thought this was fun to you. Alright, play a game. Play... I'm assuming this is supposed to be Minecraft. Play Minecraft, Rick. Stop programming, you evil bastard. Um, uh, active lesson. Ricardo is an active sim. Uh, active sims tend to be energized and ex enjoy exercise. Alright, Rick. That's fine. It's fine with me. Not that I want that, but still. Go to the bathroom, Rick, you evil genius. Alright, and then go to sleep. Because your life is so damn boring. Come on. Anyway, soon I think this episode will be coming to a close. This wasn't the most fun thing to do, but if you guys enjoy it, I'll make more. Leave me a like or a comment or whatever the hell you want. I don't really care. But if I don't get enough, then I won't make any more. Just know this. Alright. Well, I haven't said goodbye in a while, and Rick, Rick obviously wants to go. He wants to go die. See, see that face? Then that face says "kill me" on the computer, because that's what people do on the computer. They write "kill me." No, they normally write "kill yourself," but that's not what I'm gonna say. All right, goodbye, Rick. Goodbye, viewers. I'm as good as gone. Goodbye. Sup, fools? This is the second recording. I might even put it in the same one. That means I don't even have to put in an intro. That means no editing. Oh, amazing, incredible, just fantastic.